transfer. We believe there's nothing that can't be sold. Each week we aim to prove it by challenging two of Australia's leading ad agencies to come up with a campaign to sell the unsellable. We'll give them a week to prepare and then here in Gruen Stadium each team gets to make their pitch. The prize? This coveted Gruen trophy. <laughs> now with added Gruen. Tonight their client is the Japanese whaling industry. <laughs> and their challenge? To sell whale meat to Aussies as the perfect thing to whack on a barbecue. Mmm, <laughs> minky. <laughs> They do it. Let's find out. Please welcome from DDB, Kate O'Brien. <laughs> and from Jack Watts Curry, Colin Watts. Yeah! Now, Kate, you first. How did you approach the challenge? Well, this one was particularly challenging for me, saying I'm a vegetarian, but <laughs> I, I figured I've sold burgers before, so surely I can sell whale meat. Um, but I guess we, we took it, we started in a place that was about um, trying to find the underdog in this situation. You know, whale mate, whales are always the ones that are victimised, so we were kind of looking for um, who's worse off than whales. So there was a, an idea we started with about um, uh, whale meat, give plankton a chance. But then, <laughs> who knows what plankton is anyway? So um, where we ended up was trying to put really, put it into context for people so that they, they could relate to it on more of an everyday level. And... Uh, pose them with a moral dilemma, really, which is um, kind of where we ended up, so... Let's have a look at your ad. This is Hamish. He's an Angus bull. Unfortunately for Hamish and his 200 friends, he's also prime beef. What if taking only one life could save Hamish and his 200 friends? <laughs> Introducing... Whale meat. It's the beef of the sea. Very good. Very good. What about you, Colin? Did you have some rejected ideas on the way? Uh, yeah, we did. Because <laughs> I think one of the big moral issues you face is how these poor little chaps kind of cuck it. So we had ideas of... Maybe you should run ads perhaps saying how normally they get harpooned. Perhaps we had this idea of a pillow. And what you would do is you would put the pillow over the blowhole and it's like, go to sleep, my little princess. Go to sleep. <laughs> Shh, Daddy's going to say goodbye now. <laughs> and, which we thought was nice but didn't really have that much appetite appeal and would take a bloody long time. Yeah, exactly. It's OK. Free Willy's just gone to the farm to play with the other whales. Bye bye now, princess. <laughs> well, we better have a look at your ad. Well, since I only have about 60 seconds left, you might as well know the truth about your beloved seafood. You humans at the top of the food chain have been misinformed. There are lots of endangered species in the ocean, but minky whales aren't one of them. In fact, minkies are a fucking menace, and they're out of control. They're indiscriminately devouring every species in their path. It's nothing short of genocide. And since you're at the top of the food chain, why don't you do something about it? It's not like they're endangered like the rest of us will be. Ooh, ooh, I have to admit, ooh, that minky steak certainly smells good. Who wants minky? What? Oh, well, this is just typical, isn't it? Minkies ruined my life in the sea, and now they're stealing my thunder up here. Uh, who wants the last prawn? Oh, is there no minky steak? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, minky steak, the taste you can't argue with. And, of course, uh, you know, stunts like putting a giant prawn in our audience. It's oh, <laughs> God forbid. It's a 360 minute. It's a 360 minute. <laughs> well, you said about you've got to advertise everywhere at all times and absolutely, so there's pornography everywhere. Right. <laughs> well, panel, what do we think of uh, both of our teams? Russell, what did you think? Both outstanding. Well, that doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> you would be hopeless on Australian Idol. You'd be like, <laughs> you're all coming to Sydney. <laughs> Dee, what did you think? Um, both really interesting, but Beef of the Sea for me was such an intelligent way into the problem. I thought it was great. Yeah. Dan? I, I'm actually a fan of the Cranky Prawn, but the first one actually made me hungry. <laughs> mm. I, I want to know if you can get dolphin flavour. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and finally, Todd, what did you think? I thought the prom was really funny, but definitely beef of the sea is a bigger idea, bigger thought. Well, it looks like uh, beef of the sea is the winner hey, this right. week. Thank you. Can we have a big round of applause for both of our teams?